Hi, something just popped up here on YouTube and I thought I would uh, just do a screen capture as I do it. Now, there's an article on The Verge which somebody pointed me to uh, just this morning. I didn't actually uh, know about this. Well, I knew about YouTube are going to offer these paid subscriptions. I was talking about it like many months ago as it was one of the things that they were going to do. And apparently it's almost here, so they claim. And there's an article on The Verge about it. And, well, you know, it's, hey, a great idea. Fine, you know, offer a subscription service to people where they can pay to subscribe to your channel. Um, uh, price expect to be around $10 a month by the looks of it. I don't know any of the details details yet but anyway um, yeah people can pay to subscribe and then they get no ads and which is okay great option for those who who don't want their ads on their YouTube videos that could be really good okay but as long as it's optional of course you know and YouTube don't change anything and that's what I'm concerned with here is that they will actually uh, you know <laughs> screw the pooch and change something because down here it's actually quite concerning for creators youtube carrot comes with a stick here we go uh they talk about revenues here it is creators are required required to participate in the subscription offering or every video on their channel will be set to private so said these mysterious sources uh, yeah so just a rumor anyway so yeah you're damn right that would um, upset some creators um, who may object to aspects of the program just like the ridiculous Google Plus thing which they made everyone uh, you know sign up to and it just screwed everything and everyone hated it and many people left YouTube etc so hopefully YouTube have learnt their lesson and uh, they don't require everyone to sign up but here we go anyway I didn't get this email people were sent this email last night apparently I didn't get it but look I just logged in to upload a um to just check on my latest videos and look up the top here accept the latest youtube terms to get access to additional revenue opportunities and i'm sure that's what they're talking about here this paid subscription model so here we go i thought i'd capture it and um see what happens i mean i'm i plan to opt into this thing i've got no uh problem with it um of course because hey as long as all my videos stay free um, and nothing changes from that aspect, then that's fine. And if people want to pay 10 bucks a month and I get, you know, five bucks of that or some cut, um, then that's just fine. You know, uh, people can choose that or they don't. I'm all for options. But if, like, if I decline this thing and they suddenly make all of my 800 odd videos private, well, I'm going to be a little bit pissed off to say the least. Um, but I don't plan on declining it because I plan to join it. I've got no issues. I think it's good. But I think people should have the option to do that. So maybe I can't uh, test that today. So here we go. I'm going to review and accept the terms. I noticed how the wording, you have to, you can't review and decline. Yeah, look, it's like these terms either amend or replace the previous YouTube contents license agreement. Please read them carefully before accepting. Blah, 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 blah. Um, there's not a huge amount there. Okay, well, it seems to be there's no ability whatsoever to decline this thing, but they tell you, please read these terms and conditions carefully. If you do not understand or accept any part of these terms, you should not upload content for monetization on YouTube. So it does not say anything about making your videos private or anything like that yet. Um, it just says, um, yeah, you can't have monetization. So I presumably, if I don't accept this, um, then I won't be able to monetize my videos anymore. I assume that's all of my previous videos. Um, so I don't know whether or not there's a time limit to accept this and then they just, everyone just automatically accepts it because I imagine that there's a ton of channels out there who may not, you know, who upload a lot of content uh, who upload all this content and then they've either abandoned their channel or don't visit it regularly to produce new content, but they got really popular videos on there that are earning money for them. Um, so what happens to them if they don't accept after a time period or something? Is it just auto accept or do they delist people's videos and make them private as has been uh, suggested? I don't know. This uh, is not um, saying anything. I think the same thing here happened 
uh, a little while back with the uh, monetization for the uh, mobile platform. It had a similar thing, and I just went, yeah, yeah, okay, sounds all right. Click accept, you know, like, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It, I'm getting extra revenue as a content producer, getting extra revenue for going on the mobile platform, which is fine. I've got no issues with that, and I have no issues with this either. But, yeah, there's no ability to opt out of this thing as a content producer if you are monetizing your videos. So if you're doing this, you are basically forced into uh, accepting the fact that people can subscribe to your channel now. So if you disagree with that in principle, there's nothing you can do about it. It looks like they're giving you the finger. And they're basically just uh, saying the advertising revenues here, they'll pay 55% of net revenues. That's just all standard stuff. That's, um, yeah, what I'm currently uh, signed up to. But here's the new one. The subscription uh, reviews, uh, subscription revenues, they'll pay 55% of the total net revenues recognized by YouTube from subscription fees that are attributable to the monthly views or watch time of your content as a percentage of the monthly views or watch time of all or a subset, which they don't tell you what the subset is, of participating content in the relevant subscription offering, as determined by YouTube. So they can just make up any shit they like and, you know, pay you any percent royalty they like. So, yeah. Um, I'm sure there's going to be, like, no transparency for that either, like the data for that, like your views relative to whoever they're using as the metric for the subset of participating content, blah, blah, blah. So zero transparency, I suspect, is going to uh, happen here. You just sign up and, yeah, hope you get some money. Thanks, YouTube. And all the other stuff here is just all the usual uh, crud about, um, you know, payment, uh, blah, blah, 60-day terms, blah, 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 termination if you do something naughty, governing laws, blah, 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 and capitalized miscellaneous, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is the whole thing here. It's the new subscription revenue. They've basically just added this in, and they can calculate it any way they pretty much down well like and I hey as I said I got no problem with this it, it doesn't hurt me as a content producer at all um, to enable this it can only be a good thing it'll bring in extra revenue if people just choose and it's a total a personal choice which I like um, and fully support that they can sub now subscribe to my channel and uh, pay you know I don't know 10 bucks a month or whatever it is I don't know whether or not that's across just my channel or across all of YouTube it's probably across all of YouTube if you have to pay 10 bucks for each channel you subscribe to then nobody's going to do that because well you know a lot of people have you know dozens and dozens maybe even hundreds of subscriptions or something like that so yeah, that's not going to work. So I think it's the one fee, hence why there's, you know, they're spreading it across all relevant subscription offerings. So, yeah, you can kind of see why they're doing this. So it's not it's not necessarily a bad thing. I Now that I think about it, it's, I think they're doing, you know, probably the right thing. Otherwise, you know, you'd have to have people subscribe to just your channel and get the metric from that. And when people have to pay for each channel to get rid of the ads. Uh, that's a bit rough. I, I think just the one-off monthly fee to get rid of ads from all channels is a much better way to do it. So there you go. Um, I'm fairly... I got no problems with that whatsoever, but I can understand if people have, you know, on principle, I don't like this subscription thing and I don't want to accept it. And, well, you know, unfortunately, that's the part of business of being... With YouTube, you either take it or not. I th I don't think this is you know. I I think you're being a bit a bit stiff if you don't if you're a content producer and you don't accept this. But hey, I totally support anyone's right to uh, uh, complain about it. That's for sure. Um, and not accept it on principle. I think they should allow people to opt out. I think it's like bad form on their part to force everyone uh, into it. You should be able to keep just your existing revenue. I mean, why? There's no reason why they couldn't implement that, I'm sure. No technical reason. They're just forcing everyone into it, just like they did with Google+. And that rubs everyone the wrong way and pisses everyone off. And yeah, I'm I'm not happy about it either. I'd, I always want choice in doing things like this. So eh, it's, it's no skin off my back, really. So in fact, I think it's a good move to um, have a subscription service to, uh, available to my viewers anyway, to uh, get rid of Ads, so here you go. I'm going to accept 
Ah, oh, yeah, I'm doing what the man wants. I know, I know. But hey, YouTube is my livelihood. It is my business, and I got no problem with it. So here we, I gotta, I gotta push it. But why is there not another button? I just feel dirty. That I've got no choice. I can throw in the can completely and move over to Vimeo or or something else, and then yeah, watch my whole career my new youtube career go down the go down the gurgler because youtube's the only place to be unfortunately um because it's the world's second biggest search engine it's where you get the traffic um so yeah anyway i accept take it up the ass all right here we go done yep thank you very much yeah i feel dirty <laughs>